Listen, I have too many friends, too many messages, too many conversations about how basically women take men for a fool on different levels, you know. And um, sometimes it pains me to see this happen over and over again and history repeat itself because some men simply do not learn and um, feel like the more persistent that they are with their love interest, at some point she's going to give. Trust me, they're women who've mastered this craft and they will squeeze everything out of you and you will still get nothing out of the relationship. So if you're that kind of person and you just find yourself in this relationship where you're second guessing yourself, this is a video for you. Seven signs she's playing you for a fool. Africa's emerging luxury watch brand. Use the promo code to get 4% off. My name is Jessica, you're welcome back. This is my YouTube channel. I am from West Africa, Ghana. I live in Accra. I'm a broadcaster, a voice actor, a biker girl. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, welcome to my channel. I do relationship advice for men predominantly and you are welcome to be part of my growing family. So hopefully in this video, I'm gonna be real with you about a couple of things. Let's jump right into the seven signs that she's playing you for a fool. Number one, she never calls you even when you pay her phone bill. Now, this is a thing that happens in Ghana because especially our telephone systems use a prepaid service, you know, and so a man can literally just send you airtime from wherever he is, provided he has the scratch card. Um, and women have taken advantage of men who do this for years because, you know, they will tell you, oh, baby, I don't have credit or airtime. Can you, you know, send me something? The minute they send it, that's it they probably wouldn't even pick your calls or they would never call you with the airtime that you bought. Meanwhile, the next time she's gonna find you and tell you, oh baby, I run out of credit. Do you mind buying me airtime again? Don't do it. And especially if you realize that she's just taking advantage of you. Number two, when you're with a woman who knows exactly how much you earn or has an idea of what you earn because she knows maybe you're not in any high paying job and you're just trying to get by as a young man who's sort of trying to figure out his life, right? And she still has this knack for wanting to ask you for the most ridiculous favors ever. You know, for instance, if she knows you're like a, in a low paying job and the latest iPhone 13 is out and she's asking you to buy that for her or you don't love her, what do you think she's trying to do here? Like she's obviously using you. She does not care because when a woman cares about you, she does not do that. Listen, first off, she's cognizant of the fact that you're, you're barely getting by. And the last thing she would want to be is a burden for you. Yes, there are those women who have been brought up to feel like men should be taking care of them all the time. And there's a special place for people like that and a special type of men who can handle them as well. But for average Joes, it just doesn't work, right? So if this is a woman who's constantly requesting for things that are beyond your means, trust me when I say, Trust me when I say that she is not in for anything good and she's just playing you for a fool, using you and squeezing every single life out of you. Probably to share with some other guy or share with her other girlfriends who do same to the guys in their circle. Number three, when she makes you feel insecure whenever you question her activities. Now, let's say there's certain things that are off. She doesn't come home on time. She wouldn't pick up her call after a certain time, even though you called and clearly saw call waiting, which showed that she was obviously talking to someone else. And yet for some reason, she never picks your call around that same time or is just seemingly unavailable. And to top it off, when you confront her about her questionable activities, her questionable behavior. 
She gets mad and makes it seem like you're the crazy one. You're insecure. You're a jealous and possessive boyfriend. Listen, first off, that's no way for a woman who claims to love you to react to your um, queries, all right? Um, if she really wants to preserve the relationship that you have, she will have time for you. She will take her time and explain why things have to be the way they are instead of being dismissive and making you feel like you're insecure. When you're in a relationship with someone you love and someone who loves you back, their core duty is to make sure that you are comfortable in the space that you are. If you're feeling insecure and you're feeling jealous, most likely there's something that she is doing to make you feel um, the way you do. And so her approach should be completely different as opposed to just rubbing your face in the mud. Number four, when she begins to feel entitled to your money, you better run for the hills. Listen, there are some women who have just decided that they will never work. They will never lift a finger to do anything because some rich man or some man has to come find her, marry her and make her an honest woman. I don't blame them too much because and I've said this before, there are some women who are socialized to actually believe that men are the ones who are supposed to take care of them. And if you're one of those guys, hey, that's fine, that's perfect. Men have this whole provider, protector instinct, and that's okay. But then there's also a whole spectrum of men who do not feel that way, okay? And you can't blame them for it. Now it's different if she's asking you for assistance, but it's another different thing when she begins to feel entitled to the extent that if you do not give her what she's asking for, then she will tell you something like, well, you're pushing me to other guys. And if you're not gonna help me, where am I gonna get help from? Ask her, what are you doing with the money that you earn? Why aren't you managing your money better? Why must I be the one to always foot your bills? What are you doing about it to change your financial situation? Listen, if there's a woman who's feeling entitled to the money that you have worked so hard for, maybe she's not worth your salt. Number five, the fifth sign she's playing you for a fool is this. She flirts with you, but doesn't accept your proposal to date her. And obviously in this case, this is with a woman that you are not dating okay, but would just like to get to know. And she's really forthcoming, you know, calling you baby and love and boo and all those things there that could make your head begin to swell. However, any time you try to move the relationship or escalate the relationship to the next level, you get a pushback. She's never there, she's never available to speak, or she just will give you like the whole friendship speech. It's obvious. She doesn't want anything more than a friendship. She doesn't want anything more than the attention, the money, the time, your precious time that you're giving her every single time. So I guess it's about time that you begin to assess whether you can still channel your resources um, to a place that won't be appreciated, to a woman who is unavailable emotionally and wants nothing more to do with you than to play with you, flirt with you, just a little bit, just enough to keep you around. Take a stand today and put a stop to it. Number six, you always set up dates because she never does. So this is someone you're supposedly dating, supposedly going out with, supposedly in a relationship with, right? And um, every single time that you guys have met, it's because you have made the extra effort to make it happen. If you decide to stay away from her for a month, for a month you will not see her. If you decide not to speak to her for a month, for a month you will not speak. What more do you want me to say? It's as obvious as day. Ooh, that rhymed. What more do you want me to say? It's an obvious as day. And if you ask me, I'll say, hey, 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 holla. <laughs> yeah, reason I'm not a rapper. So, as I was saying, if you find yourself in that precarious situation where you're the only one always setting up the date because she won't, then maybe it's time you reassess this relationship that you find yourself in or this friendship that seems very one-sided. She may be in for whatever she's benefiting from you, but it may not actually be that deep. I would stop picking her calls if I were you. And finally, a major sign she's really playing you for a fool is she told you that she actually wants to be friends, but you're still dating her. 
Now, I know there's some men who feel like, oh, if I do all the right things, I buy her all the right things, I say all the right things, I'm the sweetest guy to her that she's ever met, she will come around. Now, in my comment section, there have been many times where men have asked me, oh, you know, I've been trying to date this girl, but she says she wants to be friends, what should I do? And my answer usually is, believe her. Believe that she actually wants to be friends with you and nothing more. Don't raise your hopes. I, if you ask me, channel your energy towards another woman who will be more than willing to accept you as hers, okay? When a woman says she wants to be friends, believe her. Do not waste one more second of your time thinking, oh, I can convince her. I will show her that she's never met a guy like me. <laughs> My guy, she's just gonna chop your money. You know that song, P Square? Chop my money, chop my money, chop my money, cause I don't care. Yeah, she's gonna chop your money for free, too. And we'll bring all her roommates and friends to join in the party, okay? Stay away from women who tell you from the get go that they want to be just friends. I hope these tips were helpful. If they were, smash the like button, turn on notifications when you subscribe as well, and I will completely appreciate that. My name is Jessica. Bye.